Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition in our series on the best covenants for PvP. I'm Mystic, and today I'll be taking a look at which covenant each class is currently looking to pick up based on PvP testing on the beta. So far, I've already walked you through exactly how the covenant system works, and looked at how each covenant's signature abilities are shaping up, so if you haven't already seen those videos, they'll be linked in the description for you to check out. Now, all that's left to do is figure out which classes gain the best abilities from each covenant. Before we get into things though, we'd love to hear your thoughts on the Covenant system in PvP, so be sure to comment below and let us know. Also, currently around 70% of you are not subscribed, so if you want to show your support for the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified the moment we release all of our awesome upcoming Shadowlands content. Alright, so we're going to go through each Covenant one by one and look at what classes are currently favouring that Covenant's signature ability. Be sure to watch through the entire video though, as you'll learn exactly what to look out for when facing every class. Starting with the Kyrian, despite a recent beta build enabling their files in Arena, we haven't seen too many classes shift over to Main and Kyrian. This is mostly due to how strong some of the other Covenant class abilities and Soulbind abilities are. Still though, Warriors, Mages and Priests all gain an excellent ability from the Kyrian. Starting with Warriors, Spear of Bastion is looking to be an excellent part of a Warrior's toolkit, preventing enemies from kiting them while it's down, which helps to alleviate one of a Warrior's main issues, their lack of lockdown. With this ability, Warriors can keep their target in place to either deal damage to them, or even help peel for their teammates. Now although you may have heard of Warriors wanting to play Venthyr because of how strong Condemn is, it's actually been shown to be weaker than a normal Execute, which hurts a Warrior's kill potential. So for that reason, we're starting to see Warriors lean towards the newly buffed Spear of Bastion from the Kyrian. Next we have Mages with Radiant Spark. As an ability alone, it can be considered as the best Covenant ability for Mages. However, it remains our secondary choice due to the strength of Venthyr for casters, which I'll get into later. Finally we have Priests with Boon of the Ascended. This ability scales with Schism and Dark Archangel and allows Disc Priests to significantly contribute to kill attempts with their own burst damage. The biggest downside is the long cooldown, but also the fact that it's just not as good as what Priest gets from the Venthyr. Alright, so I've been mentioning the Venthyr quite a lot, and while I did say Warriors generally prefer the Kyrian, both Mages and Disc Priests, along with Shadow Priests, Warlocks, Holy Paladins, Resto Shamans, and Mistweaver Monks seem to be favouring the Venthyr. You'll notice that all of these classes are either Casters or Healers, and that's no coincidence. This is because the first Soulbind you get from the Venthyr, Nagia, comes with two excellent Soulbind abilities for Casters and Healers. Familiar Predicaments in particular is an absolutely insane trait to have in PvP, as it reduces the duration of your lockouts when you get interrupted. And Thrill Seeker is another great bonus, giving you a haste proc once you've built up enough stacks. Now although Mages, Warlocks, Paladins and Shamans don't really get an amazing class ability from the vent there, Priests have what's probably the most broken class ability from any Covenant. Mind Games make some damage instead heal, and some healing instead deal damage. Just like with the Kyrian ability, it also scales with Schism and Dark Archangel, making a well-timed mind games literally capable of scoring a kill if used on the right target at the right time. Monks also get a super strong class ability. Fallen Order is easily the best Covenant class ability for Mistweavers, as it gives them a ton of healing when used. It's also the best Covenant class ability for Windwalker Monks, and it's part of what makes them so broken right now, dealing absurd amounts of damage when used. A few other melee are also looking to favour the Venthyr as their Covenant of choice, Enhancement Shamans, Hunters, and Demon Hunters. Both Bladeshot and Sinful Brand are looking to be the highest damage demon Covenant class abilities for both Hunters and Demon Hunters, likely making Venthyr the best. And Chain Harvest works well for Enhancement Shamans because it works with their Maelstrom weapon, making it do more damage than the other Covenant abilities, and also making Venthyr the best Covenant for Enhancement Shamans. Next up we have the Necrolords, and while it may have seemed like many classes were leaning towards this Covenant because of ultimate form, it's actually the class abilities that stand out and make this Covenant so good for Rogues, Death Knights, Elemental Shamans and Druids. Rogues get a dot that ticks on their target until they get topped, deals decent damage and just isn't really comparable to their other options. As for Death Knights, Abomination Limb is an unbelievable tool for preventing targets from getting away from you, and is a welcome addition to DKs who lack mobility options. Elemental Shamans are also looking to pick up the Necrolords as their Covenant, as Primordial Wave is proving to be a really strong ability. Not only does it help with maintaining Flame Shock on multiple targets, something that Ellie can struggle with when enemy healers spam the spell, it also enables them to set up insane AoE pressure by lava bursting all players on the enemy team. There's even a conduit for it that gives it a chance to not incur its cooldown when used. And finally we have Druids who get Adaptive Swarm, which they can use for some instant damage or healing while also increasing the effectiveness of their dots or hots. Last up we have the Night Fae, which although seem to have a great signature ability and many strong class abilities, 
Currently, only Rep Paladins seem to be favoring the Night Fae as their choice of Covenant, as Blessing of Summer provides them with additional bursts during their opener, while then proceeding to get their Avenging Wrath back faster thanks to the cooldown reduction from Blessing of Autumn. This, coupled with the boost to their mobility through the Night Fae signature ability, seems to be making Rep Paladins lean towards the Night Fae. Alright, hopefully you all have a good idea of what Covenants are looking to be the best for every class. And if you enjoyed the video, a sub to the channel would be incredible. And remember to let us know in the comments how you're feeling about the Covenant system in PvP. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.